It did. Like, even the characters and stuff are just saying, wait, you just ended on a cliffhanger? No, not that. I mean the dream sequence, because they had the actual Teen Titans original animation, and they were saying stupid shit. Yeah. So, now we have um, Jello taking on Kazuhi. If he wins this, then my battle then with... Then I Kaze. go on to battle Kaze, and if that match ends in my favor, then that's the end of it. CC's not, not happy that she lost, but honestly, that was an amazingly good fight. Yeah. That was probably the highlight fight of the entire thing. <sighs> Oh, Blue was worried about Diablo. That's why he didn't Jeffrey. I think I commented that on his, in his battle. I just said, fuck Jeffrey. I'm going to slay Yeah, and I'm then slay you, you fucking Jeffrey, <laughs> and you had me worried. I just said, fuck I Jeffrey. I'm going to slay me, Flair. No, I, I believe I, in my deck, man. Because you would not, not have survived if you did not get a perfect guard there. I believed in my deck and it came through. You believed in the power of the bullshit. Pretty much. It is my main element. <laughs> he rolled Loris again. Somewhere somewhere in the distance, there is an angry Alexis. Blue, the answer to that is yes. Someone can sue their Wi-Fi. Back when Clearwire, the Wi-Fi, was a thing... Uh, he's, he's not in the call. I know, I'm saying it so that when playback happens, people can hear this. When Clearwire, the internet, was actually a thing, a lot of people actually sued them because their their internet wasn't as fast as they said it was. That actually came back um, outside of the favor of the company, so they had to give out a lot of money in reprimands. So yeah, you can sue an in you can sue an internet company if they aren't doing because, what you say. What no, that's basically to. that's basically the law of okay. I can sue X company because what because they said Y and they did not match up to what they said. If they don't match up the expectations that they set out, then you have the ability to sue for it. And. It also does go to the fact that if they aren't giving you service properly and they still make you pay full price for it, you can sue them for that as well. But that's a different, that's a slightly different that's, issue. That's a different thing. Because this is more like saying, oh yeah, this X product costs this amount of money. You'd be surprised and then you pay how many more. times Comcast tries to do that though. Eh. Like that's why most. That's why most commercials actually saves them from it. Well, Comcast commercials never say anything about how good their stuff, like how reliable their internet is. It's more about how fast it is, and even then, that's a half truth at best. It probably has the potential to be exactly what they say it is, but it doesn't yep. actually reach that potential. Meanwhile, back to the fight. Mm -hmm. Well, back at the fight, we have Stride. We have Stride into... You know, I... Rise, which doesn't do any... Which Stride skill doesn't do anything because there was nothing in on the field at the time to bounce back to hand. You know, I will be right back. I am just going to quickly drive home. You go ahead. Go for it. Okay. So I'm by myself with the chat at this point. And if anyone says anything in the chat, I can see it. Um, so Jello has to think really hard about this. Any rear guards he calls will probably die. You know, unless they have resist, then they don't. Shizuka is so powerful. Just because you can keep doing it. 26k to the vanguard. Kazuhi, he doesn't have to guard, but he does have a perfect guard. So if this is a double crit, it's his fault. Are we going to get two criticals? We got two criticals. We got two criticals. 
Oh man, and the heel works. Darn. And yes, as powerful as Shizuka is, she's a five to seven dollar card because I'm pretty sure she's a double rare. She's a double rare. She's a double rare and an SP. Wow. She is undervalued as fuck. I mean, SP Olivia is $240. This is five. No, I just want it to be, me be, be known. Olivia is $240. This is five. That ain't right. So this stride is probably going to be Blade Master. No, it's Root Flare. He's giving up the crit to bypass assist. To bypass resist. I understand it, but this gives Jello a chance. So Sutherland, so Rius was called in a Sutherland column. So that means this is a 21k column. Yeah, CC, honestly, you had a really, you had a really amazing fight. It's just that you banked on a critical and it just didn't happen. To be honest, the second um, the second novel was kind of a mistake because he had the heal trigger. Like you probably could have waited a turn and done something else first, but you weren't horribly wrong either. Draw trigger, crit trigger, and grade three. Oh yeah, I know that. I was I was thinking more of the of the legend skill so you could maintenance your hand for the next turn. And that one didn't appear on my screen. Let's just swap over. Take a look. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I thought she, I thought you did. I must have saw it wrong. Yeah, for those wondering, she just told me she didn't have a grade three to use the legend skill. I thought she discarded one to stride, but I, I might have looked at it incorrectly. So the damage is five both ways. The last time this was the case, uh, Jello used this unit actually, uh, Droite, and it got a, and it got the win. The reason that isn't happening this time is because that hand. She, yeah, she used Kagero, so. Okay, so triple drive, 
didn't really bring anything that helped. Jello might actually be in trouble at this point. And that's Novell, so no perfect guards and no damage triggers. So just have to hope he has the ability to guard this. Putting a crit behind the Sutherland, which means it's only hitting for 15. So after the first attack, no matter what it is, Blaze activates. And for those asking about CC's deck in the chat, it's basically Overlord with Titan with Blaze support. Which you can do that. You can do Overlord with Blaze support, and you can do Blade Master with Overlord support, and they both work. They both should not work. So we do have a G-Guard. That's 36. And that's 46. So that's a 2-pass. And that's all he's doing. Stand Trigger. He's not risking all Vanguard. He doesn't need to. And Jello had to take it. Wasn't a heal. Even if it was, it wouldn't have damage triggered. So that's the end of that match. Now it's me. Oh boy. 